Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 36 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 35. The next topic which we will study is Rho's theorem. So before we even study Rho's theorem, the first question that comes to our mind is why should we study Rho's theorem? The answer is very simple, to find the maximum and minimum of a graph. So if you have a graph and you find this, the, the, the graph will have one maximum value and one minimum value, correct? So if you want to find the maximum or minimum of a graph, you need a Rolle's theorem. So with this objective, let's study the Rolle's theorem. Rolle's theorem says that if I have a function from A to B, that's my domain and the range is any real number. And there is differentiable on this range, there is differentiable on this range. Also, f a is equal to f b, then there has to be one c where f dash c is equal to 0. Or if you take this graph, then you have this function whose domain is from a to b, right? The domain is from a to b in both the cases if you see. The range can be a real number and this is differentiable on this domain then there has to be some f dash c which is zero because there has to be a point where it is maximum between these values or a minimum so it can be this case where it has both maximum or minimum or this case where it has a maximum or the, there can be a case where you know it has a minimum actually like this this kind of function so this is what a rose theorem says that if I have a function, a continuous function uh, from uh, with, with domain A to B, it's differentiable on this domain, then an F A is equal to F B, then there has to be a number uh, C somewhere in this uh, domain such that F dash C is equal to 0. That's what the Rose theorem says. And I'll tell you how to solve the Rose theorem questions. They are pretty straightforward. So you'll be given a function uh, which has A B as domain and R as the range. This, by Rose theorem, if f is continuous on a b, if f is differentiable on a b, open interval, please don't disclose interval, it's open interval, and f a is equal to f b, if three conditions are met, then there exists a c such that, such that, I think f dash of c is equal to z. So this is what Rho's theorem says and this is how we'll solve the Rho's theorem question. So if it is continuous, it is differentiable and f is equal to f b, three conditions are met, then there exists a c such that f dash c is equal to zero. We'll take some examples of Rho's theorem. The first one is we have to verify the Rho's theorem for this equation. Uh, x square is equal to f x equal to x square plus 2x minus a. And this is from minus 4 to so we know that this is a polynomial function, it is continuous, since it is continuous, it is differentiable also, correct? So this first two condition is satisfied. The third condition f a is equal to f b, let's try that. So let's find f of minus 4, that becomes minus 4 square x square plus 2 into minus 4 minus 8, correct? that is 16 minus 8 minus 8 that is 0. So f of minus 4 is 0. Let's find f of 2. This I found. Let's find f of 2 is nothing but 2 square plus 2 into 2 minus 8 that is 8 minus 8 because 2 square is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0. So that is f of 4 minus 4 is equal to f of Correct? That is f of a is equal to f of b. If I assume this is a comma. Thus, I can say that Rho's theorem is applicable. That means there exists a c such that f dash of c is equal to z. Let's find f dash of x then. f dash of x is nothing but if fx is equal to my x square plus 2x minus 8, f dash of x will be x square becomes 2x. 2x become 2 and 8 becomes 0. And this is equal to 0 because there exists a c. I mean, f dash of x is this, so f dash of c is nothing but 
2c plus 2 and this is equal to 0 by Rho's theorem and I can say c is equal to minus 1. So for c is equal to minus 1 my f dash of c is equal to 0 and also I know c is a member of minus 43. Please check c is lying in this domain. Thus my Rho's theorem is verified. Very simple. For Rho's theorem to be verified, first check it is continuous and differentiable. If yes, find the value of F A and F B. We found they are equal. That means we can apply Rho's theorem on this. Rho's theorem says that if these three conditions are true, there exists a C such that F dash of C is equal to 0. We found F dash that is came out to be 2x plus 2. Then we found F dash C that is 2C plus 2 and it has to be equal to 0. Solve to get the value of C equal to minus 1. And we found that minus 1 is part of minus 4 comma 2 range. Thus, we can say that Rho's theorem is well. We will take one more example of Rho's theorem. We have to verify whether the Rho's theorem is applicable in these three scenarios. The first thing is f x is equal to uh, greatest integer function of x, x from 5 to 9. If you know that this guy is not continuous, non differentiable, we know this. If you draw the graph also of this, so this is something like this, right? This is not continuous, non differentiable. So, Rho's theorem is not even applied. Same thing for this. Since this guy is also uh, greatest integer function, Rho's theorem is not applied. Let's try this guy fx equal to x square minus 1. In this case, if you see, it is a polynomial function, this guy. So, Rho, the first two conditions is true, that is, it is continuous and it is differentiable. Now, let's try the third condition, that is, f1 should be equal to f2 correct third condition so let's find the value of f1 is nothing but x square minus 1 that is plus 1 square minus 1 that is 0 what is the value of f2 2 square minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 so I can see that f1 is not equal to f2 correct since this is not equal I can say that Rho's theorem is not applicable in this case now, this is what Rho's theorem is all about. Now, we will study an advanced version of Rho's theorem and thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.